and I was going to give an update of my progress with my gasifier. But uh, I'm pretty much just sitting everything, nothing's bolted down uh, except for the cooler. It's bolted down, but I'm going to have to remove it because I'm going to have to cut the top out of a bucket. I'm going to have a double bucket system right there. One there and then come out of it, down into the other one, down through the floor of the bed, and up toward the engine from there. But, as you can see, there's my little cyclone filter. Let me climb up in here. Okay, of course, the wood goes in right there. I still have to rig up a hinge and also have a little hole. I'm going to put a bolt in it, I guess. And I'm sure you can't see down in there. Put your wood down in there. I'm going to rig up a automatic lighting system. I'm going to use a spray of gasoline down probably one of these nozzles or something. I'm still working on it and probably some kind of uh, spark ignition to help to light it because I want to be able to do everything from inside the cab. I want to be able to start on gasoline and drive while the gasifier is heating up when it's ready. I'll be able to switch over. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll probably end up doing it different. But okay, there is my cyclone. Of course, the air swirls around. That pipe goes all the way down to above where that jar is. And that should catch some of the contaminants in that jar, some of the water. Goes up into these cooling pipes and across, across here, and down, going through all these, all four of these and down into a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna actually cut that off a little bit, cut the pipe off a little bit. And it's gonna come out of that one into another one sitting right beside of it. And I'm gonna probably try uh, sawdust in one of them and then maybe hay in the other one I'll try different materials until I find one that works. And I figured the best thing to do to get up toward the front of the truck, instead of running it out on the side or over the top or anything like that, or off the side of the bed rail or anything, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill me a hole straight through the bed. I know, it's my truck though. Uh, under, underneath, I'm going to go into a bigger pipe underneath and make sure that there's a low point in that big pipe probably a four inch so i'm coming off everything with a two inch and those are inch and a half but i've got four of them so it spreads out through them and makes it move slower so maybe it should cool if not i can add more but i'm going to go into a four inch pipe about like that one that's my side there underneath the truck and I'm going to put a drain plug right in the bottom of that so I can drain anything out. It's going to be a low point, so it should catch the water. And I'll figure out my engine hookups and all that as I go. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update as to how far I've gotten so far. And again, any suggestions would be appreciated because this is the first one I've ever done. Let me get down here. The welder that I'm using, of course, is my homemade welder. Here it is. I got tired of putting gasoline in it, so I decided to run it for free off of natural gas. So I converted it the same way that I convert my generators. Just run right in underneath the carburetor. And there is the gas line right there. And it'll sit and run all day on natural gas. So now when I'm welding, it doesn't cost me anything. So that's a big plus. Well, I will give you another update whenever I get a little bit more done. 
and hopefully the old GMC there will be running on wood here pretty soon.